All right, little lady, let's talk a little bit about your math. Your math is today, this week going to be addition and subtraction. So first we're talking about when you have um, the families, fact families. So let's just say you have A and 3 and 11, or 3, 8, and 11, either way. 3, 8, and 11, when you have those together. So 8 plus 3 is going to equal 11, like that. And also 3 plus 8 is going to equal 11. Do you see how the 11 is always the answer here when you're doing the two small numbers? Now, in a subtraction problem, you're always going to subtract from the bar biggest number. You, you don't Unless you're working in negative numbers, which we don't do in second grade, if you're you're going to not use um, the biggest number somewhere else in the problem, it's always going to be here, the first one. So eight subtract three equal or eleven subtract three equals eight, and then eleven subtract eight equals three, and that's a fact family. That's a math problem. And when we write them like this, we call it a number sentence. A number sentence is how you write your fact family so that we can see that you understand how all three of those numbers go together. You're adding them, you're subtracting them. Adding one side, at subtracting the other. So then the other thing we're going to do, you did the compare ones, they're not too hard. Let's just say you have three, three plus six, or you have six plus three. Here we go. Oh my goodness. All right, so six plus three or three plus six. What is the answer to three plus six? That's nine. What about six plus three? Oh, it's nine. So they're the same. So you're gonna write equal right here in between. Um, it shouldn't be too much for you to handle. I think you pretty much get that. Um, it's not too bad. And then you also have the chance to, <clears throat> um, you have a review, which you should know how to do. And then we are also talking about using our 10 frames. So I have these little bars here. I think that you used them last year with Mrs. Yen Miss Yench, but um, these little bars are really handy to see visually. So if you had these two and these two, you know they're 10. So you could count by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's what your answer would be. What if you had, let's see, I've got four here and then 10. So what's that, 10 and four is? 14, and then you had 20 in the other hand. So 20 plus 40, 14. You can combine these three. So you've got 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And that's how you're going to use those bars. And you see on your page, your math page, let's see, I'm trying to find it. On your math page, you're going to see how you have the tens and the ones, and you're going to combine them together to get your answers. So like this one right here says, two tens and two tens. So 20 here and 20 here is 40. That's how you would do that math problem. Um, I think that the other page is more review. And then um, we're going to talk about naming things in their tens and their ones. So let's say you had, let's see, we have two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, so I have twelve of the ones, right? Twelve of these ones is, could I use one of these to replace some of these singles so that you don't have to have all these little loose ones? Probably, right? This could be ten of your twelve. So then that's ten and then eleven and twelve. And now I can put all these little singles away because I renamed them into a 10 frame, a 10 bar, 10 frame. Um, and we're going to be practicing that. You can see you'll draw some pictures and maybe draw some pictures to make it as a bar. Um, and it shouldn't be too bad. What you do is it's called carrying over. So let's just say you have, um, I'll draw a picture here. Let me erase this here. So let's say you have uh, 35 plus nine, right? 35 plus nine. So five and nine is more than 10, right? So we're gonna say nine and five, nine plus five is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I counted from there and I got 14. So I got a four, but what am I gonna do with that extra 10? What am I gonna do with my extra 10? I'm gonna carry it over here and I'm gonna put it in here in a box. So I have one. So now I'm gonna say three and one more is four. 
because I had 10, I had 10, 14 right here. That's an extra 10, so I gotta put it over here. Um, and that's how you get 44 for your answer. Uh, let's do another one and I'll draw some pictures this time. Now we have, let's say we have 27 and 15. And I'm gonna use those little bars again. I'm gonna do these little bars, 20. And I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm gonna have one, and one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I've got these bars here. Do you see that, 27 plus 15? There we go. All right, so now I know for sure I have one, two, three, three tens, but I bet I can combine some of these to make another bar. So let's do this. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 10. And what do I have left? 11, 12. So my two is my two little ones left. And then I have all of those bars here. So I'm going to carry that over here. And now I have 42. One, two, three, four of my bars plus that one, two, 42. So you're going to use those bars. You can draw either draw pictures or you can find some blocks that are long and skinny. And those would be your 10 frames. So I hope that that helps you a little bit. Those visuals can help you. Otherwise, you can just, um, some people just do math better in their head if that helps you too. Um, but that is one way to do it. So the 10s will be renaming it. And then we're going to actually do subtraction where we borrow and rename it that way as well. Um, but that's how you would use those to complete your number sentences to get your answers. All right. I hope that is uh, clear lesson there. Um, and then let's see, the other one is more just addition and subtraction facts that you should be knowing. Um, I The car that you colored is, I put it up there for right now because I'm going to laminate it, but the car that you colored is going to go across the board. I'd love to watch you. Um, maybe one of our Zoom meetings, we could um, do some time tests or some math tests so I can see where you're at so I can move your car along it. Because right now, let's see if I can show you. Uh, right now, do you see on that wall right there? That's our fact highway, and it's showing where they know their facts. And it's a personal, it's your own personal um, goal to get all the way through the facts. So once you get there, your add addition facts, you'll then you'll do the subtraction facts. And then hopefully we can get you to multiplication facts um, so that you are ready for third grade. So that's the plan, and that's what we're going to be working on the rest of this week. If you have any questions, let me know.